What's up? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's ride is a 1955 210. This one here came back the 350 aluminum radiator. No power steering on this one. No power brakes on this one. Really clean under the hood. A good look. And of course, what I'm going to do is take it down the road. That way you know everything about this ride. We do this with every car on the lot. So go ahead and hit subscribe. You can see daily content. We try to do it pretty much every day. Uh, we put about 10 cars on every Monday, along with 100 detailed pictures. I have financing and shipping available on every car here. And if you hit subscribe, share, and hit like, that keeps me doing these videos. I do appreciate you doing so. With that being said, towards the end of the video, after the test drive, I'm gonna be doing a picking out the flaws, any issues I can find, chip scratches, whatever it is. I'll let you know. Sit back, relax, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before I take off, we'll look around the interior, kind of check everything out. It's nice and clean in here. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Coming across the dash. Nice pretty blue. Aftermarket gauges under the dash, four speed shifter. Looks pretty good inside here. Headliner on this one's not bad. It does have some stains over on the edge. Still got the light in here. Looks pretty good. Nice carpet in the floor. Got a park over there, sir. Uh, got the tack on the dash. It is coming up. Let's show you the mileage. Let's see if we can get in there. It's hard to stand behind mileage in a 1955 model. Gas gauge on this one is up to above half a tank. Engine temperature on this is probably going to be working down here to be more accurate. Um, oil pressure is up. Doesn't look like the bolts are doing anything down there or the amps. Let's try the wipers. Just uh, twisting and not doing nothing. The switch is bad on this one. Wait, another wiper switch right beside it. They added. So we got that one next to it. Now you got the vent or choke that's not hooked up. What about the brake? Does it work? It feels like it's getting tight too, so I believe it does. We'll try that out during the test drive. Did you place your bets on the horn? Because it does work. Radio. Let's see what we got going on here. It looks like it just cut on. Switch. And it's working. Good deal. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Alright guys, gonna roll out of here. Anything I see, I will let you know. This one right here is pretty nice. So far, so good. The clutch felt good too, pulling out of the lot. You can see it's letting off right out of the floor. No issues there. We'll try the brakes before we leave. Yeah. We're stopping. We know we're going to stop now. Speedometer's coming up on the dash there. Yeah, they're stopping a lot 
sound better now. Well, let's pull into the gas station here. I believe gas cat's on this side. We will put about $25 worth of fuel in here if it'll fit. Continue the ride. Let's see if we can find a pump that's open here. Everything is, this guy's not even using a pump. There we go. All right, we've made it. Let's get some fuel. Put her in reverse, reverse is your stronghold gear. Plus, that brake seems to be working. But we'll test all that out again after this. We're gonna check the gas gauge now. We'll be right back. Okay, we got about $20 worth of fuel in this ride here. Put the gas in in the back. And it did fit, so we didn't have a full tank. It was showing a full tank when we got here. I'll start it up, see where it's at. Maybe it'll go back up, maybe it'll settle out. Hey, look, I got the keys in my pocket. It's still started up. Yeah, the gas gauge is not working correctly on this one. Let's keep going. Here we go, let's take off, head on back to the lot. Oh man, we got an open road, so we're gonna be able to get into the brakes really good. into the brakes stopping just fine it is drum brakes so they're not the quickest in the world and this car actually drives pretty good fairly smooth going down the road got a good bit of power
Okay. Coming back around to the car a lot. Stick around. We're going to be picking out the flaws, pointing out chips, scratches, anything I can find. That way you know what you're getting. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Here we go, getting ready to do a walk around, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find on this ride. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, share, hit like. You can look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. For now, let's get started. Coming around the front on this one. Nice chrome bumper, nice grill. Looking pretty clean. All the headlight bezels and marker lights have been changed out. Do got a chip here in the corner. A little chip there. Got a little chip here. Paint. Oh, no. Wiped it off. I thought it was a paint run. It was a bubble. Not a bubble, a uh, water droplet. <laughs> little spot here coming up over the fender here you got some issues in the corner up and over running down there's a paint run right there in the bottom a little chip in the corner got some paint runs running right here a little chip a little paint runs down the bottom scratch right there up and over A lot of water on this paint run here in the back a little chip it's great in the middle here a chip there over the top of this fender running on down some lines right there Chrome looks good on the mirror. Chrome looks good around the front window. Front window's not bad on this side. Looks nice and clean. Walking around. A little bit of pitting on your door handle there. Up over your back window, nice and clean. Trim looks good. Roof. Sweet. Coming up on the back here. Chrome bumper looks nice and clean. They replaced all the chrome on this car. This is in good shape. You got some cracks down here. Dual exhaust out the back. The magnet tag sitting on that bumper. Paint runs there chips here in the jam the trunk in this one looks awesome I wonder if we can lift it up oh it's glued I'm not going to tear all that up it does look awesome though I like the fabric that they put in there it glows look it up in your package tray solid Weather stripping here is still soft, but it's got overspray on it. It's cracked in the corner here. Coming on down with the trunk lid. That's pretty good. Paint run here. Dirt. And it lines up pretty well. Not bad.
Coming down this side, lower portion first. Little spot there. Up and over, you got a crack right here. You got some paint runs down here at the bottom of the door. A little bubble right there in the corner. A little spot there. Wax. Got some scratches here on the edges and right there. Crack up here. Pitting on your door handle. <clears throat> Little spot here. Back window on this one looks pretty good. Chrome looks good. Little seal there has got some cracks in it. Spot there. Spot here. Light scratch on the windshield. It's going around there. Got a little crack here. Looking over the roof. Good deal. Made it around the ride. Let's check out the inside. Door panel on this one's in great shape. Weather stripping looks good around the edges here. Coming down the lower portion. In your jams. Carpet's been changed out. Got some chips in the bottom here. The seat in this one looks great. In the back, pretty good. Package tray, not too bad. The headliner's got some stains on the edges, but overall, that thing looks pretty good. Go ahead and jump in here and start it up. Oil pressure is good. Engine temperature is good. This one's nice and quiet, very clean up under here. Warning, keep your head out of here. <laughs> Coming on down with this, comes down nice and easy. A little light or dark spot there. Edges look good. Have to shut it a little harder. There we go. Lined up. A little wax left over there. I'm wiping off. You got a few chips right here and here. But overall, looks pretty good. Guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. I'll keep making these videos for you. I do appreciate it. I want you to check out maplemotors.com every Monday for new inventory. 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping options are available on all of our cars and we always get new stuff in every week. So don't forget, hit subscribe and share. That helps me out and I'll try to help you out by letting you know every flaw on these cars. But that being said, I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching.